What's up guys? I'm back today with another Pocket GM video on the channel and in today's video we are back with the offseason game plan. I know I mentioned in the last video that the next episode was going to be the playoffs. However, that recording ended up getting messed up and I do not have that footage for you guys. But we ended up losing in the wild card round anyways a little disappointing and now we are here into the off season i did sign a couple players really quickly and then we're gonna quickly just go over my plan for the off season uh and then uh we'll go from there and see what actually ends up happening so we have an, our entire staff that we need to re-sign uh we have a smash mouth offense i'm probably gonna rock with this for maybe one more year uh but we'll see what ends up happening uh, probably going to bring the scout back for the quarterback just for one more year. There's a quarterback I'm potentially interested in. We will bring back the uh, this guy back again for one more year. He's been here for two years. Might as well just give him another shot. And then I'm probably going to bring back these guys on offense or for um, offense and defense and head coach as well. Uh, quarterback Brandon Mickeon last year ends up going for 27 and 6, 3,333 yards. Might as well. That's a lucky number, lucky number three. Uh, but there is a quarterback in here I'm kind of interesting. Sheldrick Exum looks pretty good. His throw, his uh, bench rep isn't phenomenal, but there's definitely a player that I'm definitely interested in. Uh, so we might look at trading up. We have the 22nd pick in the draft. We might look at trading up here to potentially get him. I brought back Marcus, Marcus Peters on a four-year deal, but I'm probably going, only going to keep him here until he starts to decline. Once he starts to decline, we'll get him out of here. We'll trade him and get rid of that big contract. It's not great to pay running backs, obviously, but uh, we'll run with it for right now, especially if we're going to run an, uh, a smash mouth offense for one more year, uh, and then uh, we'll go from there. Wide receivers, we could definitely pick up someone. Uh, Philip Shaw's here for an opportunity if we did want to pick him up. Uh, not too bad, but again, not great year. Not great production from him. And uh, the guy before him, actually pretty good. Jacksonville and then the Giants last year, 800 yards uh, consistently, and then almost 800 last year as well. So wouldn't be bad for a potential pickup, but we still have the draft to think about as well. Not exactly sure what draft picks we have, which we, we'll check out in a second. Tight end, uh, we're probably going to let this guy go. If we want to bring someone back, bring him back, we can. If we don't, we don't. Uh, but we can also pick up someone as well. So it doesn't really matter. Offensive line, we're looking pretty set. Uh, guard, tackle, center, uh, defensive end. Probably not going to bring back any of these guys. I'm going to have to get someone to fill those holes. Defensive tackle, probably going to have to get someone as well. We might bring back Hall, but again, just going to be on like a short-term deal uh, or just kind of like a backup deal, really short contract uh, and stuff like that. Linebackers, Derek Hill would be great to bring back, but... I just don't know if I can justify it. it. Hasn't really made the Pro Bowl. Hasn't produced enough to justify almost ten million dollars, and he's twenty-eight. Probably gonna let him go. Same with the rest of these guys. Corners. I gave uh, Darius Stevenson a five-year deal. Brings him up to age thirty, and uh, then our safety. We're also gonna get rid of. I have a punter. I want to sign Ryan Orchard right there, and uh, that is pretty much the game plan for the off season. We have a couple players we need to pick up. Potentially a wide receiver. And uh, for the beginning of the draft, we're definitely going to look at this quarterback and uh, kind of see what we can do. I'll figure out the offseason, see what we're going to end up doing in the offseason and uh, what players we want to pick up. But we're kind of winding down to the end of this game. Uh, Pocket GM 22, I've seen screenshots of it over on Reddit that has been leaked or not leaked, but uh, put out there by the developer. He's been showing some screenshots, talking about some of the new stuff in the game as well. And it looks super, super amazing. We're really excited to hop on that when it does come out. And uh, we'll have to see. So I'll keep an eye out. I'm not going to pre-record too many of these videos just in case the game does drop early uh, so I don't upload old game <laughs> during a new game uh, cycle. So we'll see what happens. We'll keep an eye on the new game. And I am super excited for that one as well. And uh, maybe I might go over some of the new stuff in Pocket GM 22 or at least some of the leaks and stuff. Not leaks. Like I keep saying, at least some of the screenshots that have been posted by the de developer. Uh, I may go over some of them and kind of talk about them and see kind of where we're looking at. So maybe that's something I'll do in an upcoming video, but we'll have to see what happens. So anyways, that's going to be it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoy. And uh, if you guys did, please make sure to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. And I'll see you guys in the next video.